Brimstone is an air-launched ground attack missile developed by MBDA for Britain's Royal Air Force. It was originally intended for fire and forget use against mass formations of enemy armor, using a millimeter wave seeker to ensure accuracy even against moving targets. Experience in Afghanistan led to the addition of laser guidance in the dual-mode Brimstone missile, allowing a spotter to pick out specific targets when friendly forces or civilians were in the area. The tandem-shaped charge warhead is much more effective against modern tanks than older similar weapons such as the AGM-65G Maverick, while the small blast area minimizes collateral damage. Three brimstones are carried on a launcher that occupies a single weapon station, allowing a single aircraft to carry many missiles. After a protracted development program, single-mode or millimetric brimstone entered service with RAF Tornado aircraft in 2005, and the dual-mode variant in 2008. The latter has been extensively used in Afghanistan and Libya. An improved Brimstone II was expected to enter service in October 2012, but problems with the warhead and rocket motor put back the planned date to November 2015. MBDA is working on the targeting of swarms of small boats under the name Sea Spear. The RAF intend to fit Brimstone to their Eurofighter Typhoons, and plan to integrate it with their Harriers until they were withdrawn from service in 2010. MBDA are studying the use of brimstone on ships, attack helicopters, UAVs and from surface launchers. It will be integrated on the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II when the F-35B enters British service. The US, France and India expressed interest in buying brimstone for their aircraft, but Saudi Arabia was the only export customer as of 2014. Design Overview The missile was originally supposed to be an evolution of the original laser Hellfire, with the laser seeker replaced by a millimeter wave seeker. During development, virtually the entire missile was redesigned, resulting in a weapon that, other than the external shape, bears no relation to the original airframe. It is unrelated to the separate development of the MW Hellfire for the Apache Longbow. The missile airframe is developed from Lockheed's AGM-114 Hellfire, but Brimstone is an all-new design with its own motor, warhead and seeker. Brimstone has a tandem-shaped charge warhead that employs a smaller initial charge, designed to initiate reactive armor, followed by a larger, more destructive charge, designed to penetrate and defeat the base armor. It has been estimated that Brimstone will be three times more effective than the AGM-65G Maverick missile against modern tanks, and seven times more effective than the BL-755 cluster bomb. In combat Brimstone has demonstrated accuracy and reliability, both well above 90% according to the mod. Air Chief Marshal Sir Stephen Dalton has said that 98.3% to 98.7% of Brimstone fired in Libya did exactly what we expected. Targeting and sensors, Brimstone is a fire and forget missile, which is loaded with targeting data by the weapon systems officer prior to launch. It is programmable to adapt to particular mission requirements. This capability includes essentially the ability to find targets within a certain area, and to self-destruct if it is unable to find a target within the designated area. This information is provided to the munition by the WSO from RAF Aster. USAF JSTARS aircraft or local troops. In addition to the semi autonomous ability to decide its own targets, the Brimstone has the capacity to determine where on a target to best impact, causing the most damage or resulting in elimination of the target. The missile's advanced sensor package includes its extremely high frequency millimetric wave radar, which allows the weapon to image the target and hence choose a target location. With as many as 24 missiles in the air, the missile's targeting system also required an algorithm to ensure that missiles hit their targets in a staggered order, rather than all simultaneously. Brimstone can be fired in a number of attack profiles. Direct or indirect against single targets, a column of targets or against an array of targets. The latter utilizes a salvo attack capability for multiple kills per engagement. Once launched, the platform is free to maneuver away from the target area or engage another target array. Launch System Each launch system incorporates three rails, that is one system carries three missiles. This allows a single aircraft to carry large numbers of missiles. 
For example, a typhoon could carry up to six launch systems on six individual pylons, which gives a maximum payload of 18 brimstone missiles, in addition to a useful air-to-air -air payload. The missile is carried by the Tornado GR4 in RAF service. In February 2014 the National Audit Office warned of a possible capability gap under existing plans to fit Brimstone to Typhoon in 2021, two years after the tornado retired. In June 2014 the MOD announced a study to accelerate this to 2018 and look at a common launcher that could also launch Spear. MBDA have fired test rounds from an MQ-9 Reaper and are studying the use of Brimstone on attack helicopters and from surface launchers. It will be integrated with the F-35 Lightning II when it enters British service. Both the US and France have expressed interest in buying it for their aircraft. It was intended that Brimstone would be integrated on the RAF Area Fleet under capability D of the JUMP program with a scheduled in-service date of 2009. A Harrier GA-9 first flew with 12 Brimstone on February 14, 2007 and the RAF released video of a tornado using a dual-mode brimstone against an Afghan insurgent in 2008. In late 2009 brimstone was nearing completion for integration on the Harrier, but in July 2010 it was reported that brimstone on the Harrier would be postponed until the insensitive munition version of the missile became available in 2012. Brimstone had not been officially cleared for use on the type when the UK Harriers were withdrawn from service in late 2010. Development, the missile was designed to meet the RAF's requirement for a long-range anti-armor weapon, allowing strike aircraft to attack tanks and armored vehicles at standoff range, replacing the BL-755 cluster bomb. This requirement was issued following an assessment of the British military's performance in the Gulf War. GEC Marconi was originally awarded the contract on November 7, 1996. The program ended up nearly three years late. The first ground firing of the Brimstone missile occurred in August 1999, followed by the first air-launched firing from a Tornado GR4 in September 2000. Clearance of the missile was delayed by 12 months due to the unavailability of a Tornado Trials aircraft, as the RAF chose instead to rush the development of the Storm Shadow air-launched cruise missile ahead of the Iraq War, but another delay of six months resulted from redesigning the autopilot for safe release at higher speeds. Over 2,000 missiles were produced. The original brimstone could not be used in Afghanistan as the rules of engagement required a man in the loop. Under an urgent operational requirement in 2008, modifications were made to the seeker and software of over 300 existing missiles to create dual-mode brimstone. The new missiles can be laser-guided according to the Stenag 3733 standard as well as retaining the millimeter wave seeker. The pilot can select either mode from the cockpit or use both simultaneously. Laser guidance allows specific enemy targets to be picked out in cluttered environments. The MW radar ensures accuracy against moving targets. The development and procurement of the original single mode missiles cost A370 million pounds, a figure inflated by accounting charges relating to the delays. The development of the dual mode version cost an additional A10 million pounds. The Daily Telegraph reports that the dual-mode missiles cost A105,000 pounds, which is comparable to the cost of the AGM-65 Maverick. The mod quote only a gross book value of A175,000 pounds, which includes development costs as well as the purchase cost of the missile. Upgrading a single-mode missile to dual-mode costs between A35,000 pounds and A45,000 pounds plus VAT, depending on quantities ordered. In March 2010 Brimstone was selected as the basis for the RAF's requirement under the Selective Precision Effects at Range Capability 2 Block 1 program. The demonstration and manufacture contract will increase the missile's performance significantly, and convert the warhead and rocket motor to use insensitive munitions. Brimstone 2 will have an improved seeker, a more modular design and improvements to airframe and software for an overall increase in performance with improvements in range and engagement footprint, including a more than 200% increase in maximum range. 
a five-release test campaign in October 2013 culminated in a successful strike against a pickup truck traveling at 70 mph in a cluttered road environment and Brimstone 2 is planned to enter service on the tornado in November 2015. At the same time MBDA were awarded an assessment phase contract for Spear Capability 3. This is specified to have a range of at least 100 km, however the UK MOD and MBDA believe that they can achieve over 120 km. The weapon will make substantial reuse of brimstone modules. The 2AM weapon will fly at high subsonic speed using a turbojet and wing kit, and will feature a multi-mode seeker with INS GPS guidance and data link. The assessment phase will conclude with flight trials in 2014 on Typhoon. The missile is set to use the same Hamilton Sunstrand TJ-150 turbojet as the JSOWR. MBDA have shown artwork of a four-missile launcher on a single Typhoon weapon station, and four will fit with a Meteor air-to-air -air missile in each internal weapons bay of the F-35B. MBDA has started testing a maritime variant called Brimstone Sea Spear for use against swarms of small boats. On June 25, 2012 a Tornado GR4 dropped a prototype that hit and sank a 6-meter inflatable boat traveling at 20 kts in Sea State 3. The following month MBDA said that a viable system could be offered within months. The initial focus is on deployment from fast jets and surface launchers, MBDA is marketing it in the Gulf for installation on vessels down to 15m. On May 29, 2013. MBDA conducted a salvo firing of three millimetric wave operational brimstone missiles, launched from a fixed offshore platform, against a simulated attack formation of five targets representing FIACs. The successful test firing demonstrated brimstone Sea Spear a Euro unregistered trademark S ability to strike numerous individual targets. During the test one of the targets, a 15M craft, was traveling at 20 knots. The Sea Spear competed with the Raytheon Sea Griffin missile for integration onto American littoral combat ships. The Navy instead selected the AGM 114L Hellfire as a stopgap missile for the LCS. Operational use Royal Air Force. In March 2005, Brimstone entered service with No. 31 Squadron RAF. Full operational capability was declared for the Tornado GR4 in December 2005. The first operational sortie of dual mode brimstone was over Iraq as part of Operation TELIC on December 18, 2008, by a Tornado GR4 of 9B Squadron. It was first fired in combat in June 2009, the month that the Tornado GR4s of 12 Squadron arrived in Afghanistan as part of Operation Herrick. Brimstone was used extensively during Operation Elemi over Libya in 2011. According to a British Ministry of Defence news report, dated March 26, 2011, RAF Tornado GR4 aircraft launched several Brimstone missiles over the towns of Misrata and Ordebe destroying a total of five armoured vehicles belonging to the Gaddafi regime. Sixty Brimstone were fired in the first four weeks of the Libya campaign, out of 110 brimstone fired in all operations up to that time. This prompted the MOD to ask MBDA to convert more missiles to the dual-mode version. 150 dual-mode missiles had been ordered in December 2010, but according to the Royal United Services Institute, stocks of usable dual-mode missiles fell to single figures at one stage of the Libya campaign. The 500th dual-mode brimstone was delivered in March 2012 at which time over 200 had been fired in combat. The single-mode missile was not fired in combat until September 15, 2011 when a pair of RAF Tornado GR4 of 9B squadron fired 22 missiles against an armored column near Sabah Sabah, 400 miles south of Tripoli. In September 2014, Tornado GR-4 strike aircraft of No. 2 Squadron RAF began flying armed sorties over Iraq in support of Operation Shader, the UK's contribution to the US-led 2014 military intervention against ISIS. On September 30, the aircraft made their first airstrikes, engaging a heavy artillery position with a Paveway 4 laser-guided bomb and an armed pickup truck with a brimstone air-to-ground missile. 
Brimstone is the preferred weapon for these kinds of targets because it is the only air-launched low-fragmentation fire-and-forget weapon that is effective against against moving targets that the Allied inventory possesses. Export sales, around a £10 million of brimstones from the RAF stock were sold to the Royal Saudi Air Force for use on their tornadoes. In April 2011, the RAF's assistant chief of the Air Staff Air Vice Marshal Baz North reported that the missiles were being sought by both the United States of America and the French in the light of Brimstone's success in Libya. France's DGA procurement agency held meetings in late May 2011 to discuss a lightweight air-to-surface weapon for the Dassault Rafale. Star copyright Fain Reb of the DGA would merely say that Brimstone is a solution, but it's not the only option. In early 2014 the U.S. Congress House Armed Services Committee showed interest again in the missile. High-ranking members of the U.S. Armed Services have stated they like it, and if they do choose it they need it out soon. The French Air Force was still thinking about a purchase in March 2012, with a prime consideration being lower collateral damage compared to the AASM. India has made a request for information about integrating Brimstone on their Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fleet. MBDA hopes that firings conducted in the US intended for the UK to test the feasibility of arming British MQ-9 Reaper UAVs with the missile will persuade the US military to purchase the Brimstone too. In July 2014, it was revealed that the United States Navy was beginning environmental and integration analysis of the dual-mode brimstone for use on the F-A-18 Super Hornet. The U.S. Army is also considering the brimstone as an option in its joint air-to-ground missile program. Operators, a Saudi Arabia. Royal Saudi Air Force. A United Kingdom. Royal Air Force. See also, AGM-65 Maverick. AGM-169 Joint Common Missile, KH-38, Helena, Nimrod, PARS-3LR, Joint Air-to-Ground Missile, References, Notes, Citations, Bibliography, External Links, MBDA, Brimstone, Brimstone Project Details and Specifications, RAF Page on Brimstone Missile.